team being? The Packers. No. Okay. So I gave them about a 20 second advantage. You see the power meter kicking in here. So you'll notice even though I started Intel about 20 seconds before, you will most likely see the benchmark begin on the AMD system more quickly. And now, if you look at the line chart as it moves through the benchmark, you'll see very steady performance moving through the Final Fantasy official benchmark. You look at the Intel system, you see very jagged performance. You can see it in the way the scenes are displayed. You can see it in the way the line chart reports out on what's happening with the frames. So, you know, at times this isn't even conducting the workload. It's just dropping the frames and moving on to another point in the, in the benchmark. Now Intel's starting to spike, it's coming up above in watts. It's going to vacillate between about 43 and 50 something watts now. The AMD system's going to kind of stabilize around there at 47. Intel's now sitting at 55. We'll throw a little more at it. So CPU-centric benchmarks like Sysmark are heavily weighted towards the, um, the Excel spreadsheet with many, many, many cells being calculated. So now we're throwing more at the x86 part of well, each of these processors. Per okay. And now we're going to see what's happening with the wattage. You can see the aim of the system, despite starting about 15, 20 seconds later, is turning far ahead on the benchmark and also delivering a more smooth and consistent performance. We're waiting for the Intel system to get to this juncture of beginning this next sequence in the benchmark. And while it's not rendering anything, its watts will come down. And then it'll come back up when it finally manages to start rendering again. See, it just dropped whole sequences out of that scene there. Okay. And the wattage, you see, is starting to climb now. So now they're sitting about 7, 8 watts. Now 10, 12, 13 watts above AMD, yet not delivering on one of the two workloads. So let's add another one. Now let's go engage those dedicated video acceleration hardware. So this is on the decode side. AMD has the UVD3 engine, same as found in the Radeon 6000 series. Um, Intel launching the same application, a 1080p HD video clip. So now we're hitting those uh, UVD blocks. You see the wattage is staying about 10 watts difference between the two. Intel's doing okay on this workload. Of course, AMD is excelling on this workload. And you see now 11 watts, 12 watts difference. Final Fantasy benchmark continues to struggle. You can see it in the line charts here. Let's keep going. Now we're going to ask the GPU engine to kick in in a bigger way. We instantly launched the spec um, viewperf application rendering a, uh, I think it's a Maserati, the Intel system is now struggling with two of the four workloads. It's really unusable on the spec viewperf benchmark. And the wattage, you'll see, is consistently between 20-25% higher than the AMD system. So not, not delivering on the workloads, but drawing more power to do it. And then we can go one further and now move into flip mode, which the AMD system does instantly because that's another 3D rendering task using flip mode in Windows as you change the way those images are, are portrayed and then bring them up and uh, super res them to the display. The Intel system, I hit enter. Okay, there, now it's responding. It stuttered as it brought the Excel spreadsheet forward. You don't see that in the AMD system. And yet the wattage is now 16 watts higher than the AMD system, so we're moving north of 25% more power. Okay, I'll shut this down. Take a look at a couple of other things very quickly. There's a number of different ways that we can show that benchmark.